Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the VW Nut 1967 channel on YouTube. I just thought this was a good shot of my 64 bug and a great way to start this video. Um, this video has nothing to do with bugs. You probably gathered that from the title, but there's my 64 bug, and I'll pick you up for a second, and you can see the 67 bug is over there. A couple of you have asked uh, some questions about what was going on with the... Um, Fastback and the fastback is in the big green box because uh, if you stay tuned in a couple of Videos probably maybe the next one maybe the one after that maybe the one after that maybe the one after that But we do have a parts car coming uh, For it so it's got some of the sheet metal bits on the inside that we need instead of having to fabricate those ourselves We're just going to cut them out of the donor car and put them in the fastback uh, So we'll have that coming up soon and uh, We'll get into what today's video is about all right, what we're here to talk about today is my uh, redneck tractor. It's got a, amongst other bent things. If you're looking real close, you can see the front end. It's got some other bent things. It has a, a pretty bad bend in the tie rod. Um, we'll get it off of there, bring it inside, and we'll let you guys take a look at it. So uh, let's get under there and get that tie rod taken off of there, or steering connection bar, or whatever you want to call it. However it is, you'll see in a second the VW nut bent her real good. All right, we're looking at the nuts on the tie rod. We're looking at the nuts on the tie rod there. Um, somebody turned up the heat outside. I don't appreciate that too much. Actually, I don't mind it. That's not true. I don't mind it. Sorry for bumping you guys. I'm on semi pro. Sorry again. Nut washer, washer. Now she ought to steer right. Right, 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 right. All right, we got her chalked up in the uh, in the good BNS vice here. Um, sorry for that. I'm moving pins around. We can go ahead and assume that this part of the tie rod is the straight part and then you can see, I'll pick you guys up for a second, sorry for that bump right there, but you can see that then we can go ahead and assume that this is the bent part. <laughs> so um, I'm going to try it without some heat at first and then I, if I need to I'll go ahead and put some heat on it. So. Let's see what happens. All right, before we go ahead and straighten out that tie rod, I found my puppy dog Patina, and I know you guys love the Patina footage, so I'm sure she's out here because she's got some business to attend to. So that I take you guys for a short little walk on the uh, short trail through the woods. It's beautiful out here today. It's supposed to be. Uh, 91 degrees Fahrenheit. That's for those of you that don't live where it's Fahrenheit, where it's Celsius. Um, I don't know how hot that is in Celsius, but it's going to be warm today and tropical. We have had um, sightings of a Mama turkey and a baby turkey. I don't know what you call a baby turkey. I'll insert a picture right here. Alright, hopefully I was able to insert the picture of the mama and the baby turkey right there. Um, so we, that's why Patina's out here right now on a leash because, well, she's probably not going to want to just let the mama and the baby turkey be left alone and she may not listen to me. We did rig up a device for mowing down the trails in the woods. Uh, it's uh, just, a, just another mower, just another push mower that we tow behind the redneck tractor with it on. It seems to have worked really well. Oh, 
Oh, you do burnouts? Is that because you're high speed? Let's go. That'll give you a little better idea of what it did right here. All right, we'll get the puppy dog back inside and we'll see about straightening that thing out. Come on. Okay, I'd say that the way that is looking already much better. Does have a little bit of a memory. Also, if you haven't seen the videos with my redneck tractor in it, um, it doesn't have to be perfect either. It's just got to be better than it was. Let's see if we go put this on and see what happens. Alright, you remember how it went? That's why we put it back together when we took it apart. Oh, I'm just determined to lose pieces today. Now, if it's not close enough, there is some adjustment on here. But, you guys have seen the work this thing does. It's just a workhorse is all. So, it doesn't need to be perfect. It just goes out there and gets its butt kicked repeatedly. Like, I figured I would have had to rebuild this whole tractor already once, but it just keeps, just keeps, just keeps doing its thing. So, we just keep letting it. How do I say it? Just let her eat. We just keep feeding her, feeding her, and feeding her. I don't know what the torque spec was, but, you know, it's good enough. All right, let's take a look at the front of this thing. Well, I would say that it's much better than it was. It most definitely still has the stance camber. I think it has had that for a very long time now. Um, eventually, that's going to break something. The stance camber is going to break either the spindle for the front wheel or it's gonna break that whole front axle beam right off of there. Uh, that's from doing ginormous wheelies and running into things and um, But as far as the wheels being straight and the wheel being straight Good enough for me I'd like to thank each and every one of you guys for being here to hang out with us and uh, We will see you in a couple of days So one of my favorite things to do with my channel and share with you guys is when I hear about veterans doing great things for other veterans this chair is a perfect example of that. My friend Barefoot, as you all know, is a veteran. We have other veteran friends. Another veteran friend of ours, Carl, 
made this chair for my friend Barefoot. Right on. So he could sit out here and watch the world go by for the next 200 years. And he made it yesterday. He made, yeah, it did it in one day. So now for the third time in this video, we will actually leave this time, right, Mav? We're gonna leave. We're gonna leave this time. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>